everybody, how's it going? Today we're playing Super Mario Bros. on the NES, so let's get into it. Uh, you may hear the question, if you could only play one game for the rest of your life, what would it be? Well, for me, the answer is easy. It's this game. Uh, this game, I remember the first time I played it, I was probably, I don't know, maybe six or so. I was born in 1983. But I was absolutely blown away, and I spent hours and hours playing this game as a kid. Uh, today we're just going to be going through, playing through level by level. I'm not going to be using any warps. Uh, I'm not going to use the extra life trick or anything like that. I'm basically going to go through and play it the way it was intended to be played. And try to die as little as possible. <laughs> uh, this game to me is just an all-around amazing game. Everything about it is perfect to me. I know a lot of people share my feelings for this game. Just whenever I put it in, and I just see this screen, I hear the music, it just instantly takes me back. More than any other game I've ever played. Uh, my second favorite game on the NES would probably be Mario 3. That's another one that really takes me back, because I got that one year for Christmas. And then uh, even Sonic on the Sega Genesis. I will be going through trying to get coins and stuff because World 8 can get a little tricky and I just don't want to run out of lives. And as I said, I'm not trying to do a speed run. I'm just trying to go through, play it, and have a good time. This game taught me so much about looking for secrets, and it also taught me about the art of holding your finger on the B button while pushing the A button to jump. I feel like that's basically necessary in this game. I'm sure you can beat it without it, but for me, it's just common practice when I play this game. I'm always holding down the B button, like 90% of the time, and then tapping the A button when I need to jump. I know sometimes you get fireworks. I read that it's if the timer's on a 1, 3, or a 6, you will get that many fireworks. Which, obviously, I never knew as a kid. I was like, how come I'm not getting fireworks this time? Or did I not beat the level fast enough? I always thought it was a, a time thing, because you do have a timer. It's funny because I just watched um, Ready Player One again with my son. And it's all about the Oasis. Like the virtual world, we can do whatever you want. Well, to me, this, this is my Oasis. <laughs> First castle. I feel like the first uh, four worlds of this game are pretty easy. And then after that, it starts getting a little more difficult. I mean, World Aid especially. And then a lot of the game, you actually benefit by just kind of running as fast as you can. Uh, I always love killing them with the fireballs. Prince 
princess is in another castle. A uh, viewer actually recommended that I play this game, and I wanted to thank them because this is obviously a game I've wanted to do for a long time, but I know, like, so many people play Mario and, like, Zelda and stuff like that, so I try to stick to games that not as many people may play, just to kind of show what it's like. But at the same time, you can't ignore the classics forever. Oh, is the beanstalk. Alright, I gotta do the beanstalk dance. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny, just something as simple as that can make me so happy. I still think this game looks amazing today, especially on the CRT TV. I know my camera probably isn't capturing it as nicely as it looks, but it looks beautiful. I always like this level, but I, I find it's easiest just to kind of run as quick as you can. And just slow down where you need to. Alright. 216. So I think I should get six fireworks on this one. Wow, nice. <laughs> I never knew that before today. It's funny, after all this time, I'm still learning things about this game. And I know there's still a lot I don't know. There's lots of uh, hidden things and stuff I'm sure I'd, I don't even know about. Which is one of the things I love about the game. I'm also very excited for the new movie that's coming out. Uh, me and my six-year-old son will be going to see it. Well, I think he'll be six by the time it comes out. But honestly, I love the first Mario movie they had. As a kid, I thought it was awesome. I still think it's good. I don't know why it gets such hate.
Hammer Brothers. Yeah, if you can hold on to your Fire Flower, then most of the game's not too bad. I just read in the manual that the Star Power is actually called Star Man. Which I found that interesting. I never knew that. <laughs> oh, one coin away from a one-up. Okay, right here is where you could do the extra live glitch. Well, it's not really a glitch. You just keep hitting the turtle shell against the side. If you bounce on them just right, you can get tons of lives. Moving right along. Invincible Mario. As a kid, I always try to jump over that flagpole. I don't think you actually can. Maybe you can. It's also funny that as a kid, like, I'm sure this game drove me crazy, but as a adult, I, adult, I just find it so relaxing. <laughs> it's not like playing Call of Duty nowadays where every second's a life or death thing. <laughs> one just lack of two is there one up here yeah The uh, underground levels are always my favorite. Alright, here's the other warp spot, but... Not gonna go that way. Just show it. 
take that, it leads to a warps. And you can break a, on top of the bricks and just run through if you want, but... I could just jump right up there. Oh, yeah. One thing I could say about Mario games is I feel like they're still amazing. Like, they're still good. I always want to play them. Like, Mario 3D World. Uh, Mario Odyssey is, like, my favorite game on the Switch. So it's just amazing that they can just put out game after game and they're all good. Okay, I think this is one of those maze castles. You have to go the right way. And I don't exactly know the right way. Oh, I think I got that part right. Guess I'll go down. I'm guessing. Oh, nice. Love the way his feet shake before he falls. I did play this a couple days ago just to kind of play through it again. So I may not get all the mazes the first time. Fireworks just make it feel so more official or important. <laughs>
I always like these levels too. Oh no. way to go. I don't really feel like time is ever an issue, uh, except for like World 8. Can get kind of close on time. But I'm also running most of the time, so I imagine if you're just walking through it, it might be a little closer than that. I typically try to avoid these swimming levels. Because I don't want to die! <laughs> oh, God. Well, I shouldn't have went down there. I was just thinking when I went down there too, I'm like, why am I going down here? Well, like I said, I, I haven't, I don't have like every single thing memorized. Oh, beanstalk. How am I supposed to get up there? I don't know if I can. Oh, there we go. Gotta do it. Gotta do it to him. Oh, yeah. Love that sound. Oh, man. Thank <laughs> you. 
And this world's always, like, looks awesome, but... I know it's supposed to be an ice world, but I don't think it's any, like, more slippery than the normal levels. It still looks cool. played these later levels as much besides World 8, because when I was a kid, as soon as I found out about the warp pipes, that's pretty much all I did. Alright, just trying not to get hit. Oh, go. Just go. Okay, no problem. Seven. <laughs> I was like, please tell me it's not another underwater part. But also, another reason to not go under there is because you never get power-ups under there. Yeah, you get to skip part of the level, but if I'm not going to get a power-up... Oh, God. Landed right on my head. What? Wow. I didn't think that was going to hit me. Come on down here. Give me something. Still got six lives. Is this the underwater level? Oh, yeah. I really like that firepower here. Can you guys go away? You can kind of like train them to go the other way. And you can quickly go. Here we go again. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. We're going this way. 
Going this way. pretty but that was fun got it done my main concern is uh in world 8-3 is I like to get the firepower just to make sure I can get through the final boss or at least be big I guess I should say this one is a little bit harder than the other bridge Okay, I know this one is a, another puzzle one. Okay, that didn't work. Bottom, middle, top. Yeah, okay. Okay. And then, um, I think I'm going to go this way. Nice. Just go, just go. <laughs> Alright, round the home stretch. World 8. Still got six lives. Doing fairly well. Just gonna stay up above and then I'm gonna try the warp pipes or the pipes. Hoping to get a mushroom. I think that's just coins, yeah. Could use another live. Thank you. 
Just gonna be real careful around these bullet bills. I didn't really realize, like, they could shoot so sporadically. Sometimes they shoot twice in a row and stuff. Alright, this was always, like, the hardest part in the game for me. There we go. Perfect. No. Oh, man, I thought that was hitting me. please please all right I really need that firepower so I do not want to get hit oh and I got hit damn it I'm not even gonna be able to get it now I don't think right or is it here all right there's a mushroom okay you gotta be careful This part still stresses me out a bit. <laughs> Down here. No! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Well, I'm gonna die. I'm honestly just gonna die because I, I really want to at least be big for the last level. So it's a little strategy on my part. get to the last level and you're not at least big or something, then you're going to have a really hard time. I hate how they jump all the way down sometimes. Those hammer brothers, you know? Alright, let's see if I can do this next part. I'm getting my ass handed to me again. Stay up there! Yes! There we go. It also just makes the, the rest of the level a lot easier. Just being able to throw fireballs the whole way. So we had to take a death, but it's not an issue. Because we had plenty of guys. on that level. Okay, here we go. This whole level is a maze. If you go down the wrong pipe, it'll bring you all the way back to the beginning. I can't tell you how many times I've timed out on this level. But hopefully I should be able to remember... taking my time so I really don't want to get hit okay yep yeah that, that's the one Plenty of time, plenty of time. Come on, what are you doing? You're coming and going, you're coming and going. God. 
Just go away, please. Just go away. Thank you. Yes. It's another reason why I like to have the firepower for that part. Then right here. Got it. Nice. Still feels amazing. Thank you, Mario. Your quest is over. We present you a new quest. Push the B button to select the world. Look how little the princess looks. Like, is she supposed to be younger than Mario? I don't know. That kind of throws me off. But, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be more videos to come soon. Have a good one. Bye.